So it's the Railers and the Lions. Railers in their home white with red lettering and numerals trimmed in green with the red and green piping up the side. Lanphier in road orange. Of course, the last time Lanphier was in this building, they were wearing Lincoln uniforms. Yeah. Gavin Block, Railers as they win the tip. Moving to the basket to our near side. Gavin Block on the right wing. Pressure man by Lanphier as you expected. All over you pretty much uh, for the whole for the whole court. You better protect the ball and be strong with it. Portion on top to Gavin. Gavin almost uh, traveled. Max being watched by Austin. That's going to be a matchup to watch the entire evening. Gavin drives in at the free throw line. Picks up his dribble. Works it around now. The perimeter to Bowlby. Railers in their first possession. You know the Railers would love to play a very slow, methodical game just like this. Bowlby in the corner, drives by his defender, kicks it over to Gavin in the corner. Back on top quickly to Cook. Railers again, very patient. Part of that, the defense by the line. Yeah, they're very quick, and they cover a lot of ground. And they cover up really well. That's been uh, Ben Lanspear. Gavin for three. Gavin's three, in and out, no good. Austin high for the rebound, tips it into the hands of Bishop. Bishop quickly over to Trebet. Work it around now on the right side. Dump it inside to Bolden. Turns and shot. That's going to go up again. That was uh, Eddie Smith actually with the basket. So a quick score from Lanfear. And uh, I think it's pretty well their uh, philosophy, Josh, is attack, attack, attack. Yeah, they've been, uh, they will attack all night too. Max Cook's three, that's no good. Fighting for the rebound, it's Austin and Pod Belsick. It's Lanphier coming out of there with it. Bishop quickly into the front court. Very fast freshman, very good at the three-point shot as well. Bishop, they swing it around to the right side to Austin. Inside, all by himself, and Max is going to be whistled for the foul. And Max had to do that one, or that would have been an easy two for Bolden. Yeah, the Railers uh, so far early on not moving well within the defense, and uh, right you know, they, uh, that was a first power move uh, by the Lanphier guy to get their first two, and now they get it underneath. You give these guys easy baskets around the uh, around the hoop, and uh, they're going to make them all night. At the line is 6'4", senior Dwight Bolden. His first free throw is up and good. We said Lanphier in their road grays with orange lettering. New 6.06 to go. Bolden's second free throw on the way. That bounces off. No good. Cook the rebound for the Railers. Railers have been held to just two three-point attempts. Like to see if they can work something on the inside. Todd Belsick drives by his man. Bishop kicks it out in the corner. Horsham, can he answer with a three? That's no good. Todd Belsick couldn't get it as Austin quickly into the front court. Three on three. Takes it in strong. Nice move. Won't go down. Yeah. It's Gavin with the rebound for the Railers. Good defense by Gavin, too. Austin came flying at him, and he was going to take a charge. Austin did a good job of pulling up in front of him taking a tough shot, and, uh, and we forced him to take a tough one. They look to go back door by Belsick with a nice catch. He threw it back in bounds, but it's picked up by Lanfear. Bishop quickly into the front court, down the lane, kicks it over to Bolden. His move, contact, no call. Gets the rebound. Smith up with it. He can't get it. Smith gets the rebound, tries to go up again. It's taken away by Gavin Block. Gavin, one on two. Now he's going to pull it into the corner, back out to Cook. Railers look a little hurried right now. Well, that's what Lanphier is doing, too. They're making us play a lot faster than we want to, and that's that's due to them, their pressure defense, and them uh, wanting to push the basketball. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Just a 3 nothing lead for Lanphier. Gavin having some ball handling difficulties. Picked up his dribble, needs some help, gets it on top to Cook. Max between the circles. He's being watched now by Trebet. Drives in, pull up. From yeah. 13 is good. That's what Max can do it too. Uh, he did a good job of penetrating. He used his, used his height and also his uh, his body where he got a little separation from the defender and was able to pull up for that nice little 15 footer. He's got to do that a lot tonight. Lanfear works it around the perimeter. That's Trivet. Kicks it over to Austin being watched on the side by Cook. Bishop's going to drive in at the free throw line. Trivet's three on the way off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound knocked away by Horsham into the hands of Todd Belsick for the Railers. So uh, you'll live with, I think, a lot of the Lions uh, shooting it besides Bishop, and, and Austin will make a few. But if you let those other guys shoot it, the one thing we got to do is rebound, and there we got away with a, uh, we got away with one. Max hands off to Todd Belsick. Will pulls up from 16. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound down to Drebet again for Lanfear. 3-2 lead for the Lions halfway through the first. Kick it back out, stolen away into the hands of Todd Belsick again. Yeah, frantic pace right now. Maybe not a pace the Railers are wanting, 
Uh, I, I think we're taking some quick shots at times. Yeah. Gavin gets by his defender in the lane, and we've got a foul on the outside of the lane. Be the first foul on the land here. Foul is going to be whistled on Bishop. That'll be his first. First on Lanfer, as we said. Austin and Golden check out. In for Lanfer includes 6'7 junior Scotty Wallace. And we've got a foul underneath. It's going to be whistled on Wallace as he was holding. So that'll be the second foul quickly. As uh, Wallace and uh, Gavin are pushing and uh, trying to clear some space for each other. And uh, now the inbound, Horsham comes in on the way, and a foul is going to be whistled on Trebet as uh, Bowlby got run over uh, trying to set a screen. Yeah, three fouls in a hurry for, for Lanesfair, and that's one thing the Raiders could have an advantage of if we get them in foul trouble and get to the free throw line. We haven't done that a lot this year. So how long do you think it'll take before we get a double foul against Wallace and Gavin? Yeah, it's already started right when Wallace came in, and uh, they're, they're pushing and shoving now. Horsham inbound to Max. Max under the lane. little spinner off the glass is good. Max with a nice move underneath. Josh, I tell you what, I thought he was way too far under the basket, but he did a nice job yeah. of spinning and getting it off the glass. He maneuvered his body right around to get a, a better angle at the, on the backboard. They dump it down, try and kick out. Trebet is there. He throws it off the glass. That's no good. Wallace lost it. He couldn't get the rebound. It's headed back to the rail. Yeah, we're giving, we're making them take some tough shots, Jeff. But our activity on the boards is not good right now. Uh, Lanfear really aggressive on the rebounds. It's a good thing we're here by this air vent, Josh, because if we were sitting in the crowd, I think it'd be a little warm. This place is packed tonight. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a hot one. Max Cook four, Lanfear three. 3.05 to go in the first quarter. Gavin at the high post, watched by Mitchell. Back cut, Edward. Edward a little too far into the basket. Kicks out to Will for three. Is good. Yeah, the first one of the night by the senior on a nice drive uh, by Gavin. Got around him and then uh, passed it over to, to Bulby. And Bulby kicked it out for a deep three. It wasn't on the line, but we, we needed one of those to go down. And traveling is going to be whistled on Bishop. And Josh, I'll tell you, the thing I liked about Bulby is you know, there might be some players, they catch it, and they know that the, the concept is to take that shot. But he showed good patience, kicked it out to Will. Will was open for a wide open three. Two times he's gotten the ball underneath where I thought uh, Bulby could have gotten that uh, easy basket inside where he's passed it out. We've got to get some easy baskets tonight against this pressure. Bulby in the right corner being watched by Smith. Block watched by Mitchell. Hot on top. He's being guarded by Bishop. Stripped away by Austin. Gavin's back there. Austin's going to go in for the finger roll, and it's good. And that's why the college coaches love him. He's tenacious on defense, and he can fly to the basketball, and he flies with the ball. And you saw as high as he was there for the layup. If Gavin wasn't around, that would have been an easy dunk. 2.10 to go. Brailler still on top, 7 to 5. Gavin takes the three, drives in. Bobie up for a three. That one's long. Rebound down to Stefan Wade in the contest for the Lions. Austin with the crossover dribble. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Little 14 footer is good. Yeah, it's been, uh, been a lot of contested threes for the Railers. That, that three by Bulby was really contested and one of them that uh, was, not a, was not a good look. We are tied at seven, minute 40 to go. Uh, Belsick on the right wing, brings it on top to Bulby. Will coming around to the far side, now to Horsham. Will in this corner, his three on the way, two for two. Gotta get back, here comes Lanfear. Quickly into the front court as the Railers have the 10-7 advantage. High for the jumper, is up and good, that is Smith. Can't do much about that, that's a pretty, pretty tough shot and the Railers did a good job of contesting it. A 30 second timeout's gonna be taken by Lanfear, 1.15 to go in the first quarter. Josh Lincoln up 10-9, uh, it hasn't been that go blazing out like a drag race, but playing very consistent, and they're hanging in there right now. Well, if we keep this, I think if we can try and keep Lanfear under 45, the Railers have a good chance, but can we put that many points on the board? Uh, we, we talked about where we've had uh, spells and quarters where we've had that five point or that seven point quarter, and then we'll come up with a 15. Uh, as you said earlier, we need, that, we need that 10 and 12 and that maybe 14 point quarter every quarter. Uh, uh, to, and, and also, can we keep this pace up? with the Railers, uh, you know, a, a short bench, and uh, now with Joey not back with the cast off, they're probably not going to see action tonight. 
Gavin looking to inbound, does so. Lanfear's really extended the pressure into the backcourt now. Railers get it back to Gavin, and Gavin will dribble into the front court. 105 to go, approaching the minute mark. Railers hanging on to a one-point lead here as Moby's got it in the high post. Todd Delsick looks down low to Gavin. Gavin backing the dribble, still backing, backing, turns, gets his defender up in the air, and as Gavin, nope, they're going to say Gavin was not going up for the shot. As soon as I saw that little guy on Gavin, I thought, let's throw him the post, and that's exactly what the Railers did. And I like what Gavin did. He kind of backed him down, kind of like a la NBA action, where you got a smaller guy, you're just going to back him down. He felt what kind of pressure he needed and, and made a strong move. Under a minute to go. Four fouls. Bowlby, the lane opens wide there, and Edward lays it up and in. Boy, you don't see many defensive lanes open that far. Oh, and it was wide open, and Bowley did a good job because he had big 6-7 Wallace coming right after him. Railers up 12-9. We're ticking down to 30 seconds here on the Royce Anderson clock. Austin holding in front of Coach Neil Alexander on the far side. Trying to direct traffic. Now on top to Mitchell. Down to 20 seconds. Mitchell over to Austin. Mitchell checks the clock. Looks like Coach Blake Turner's got his Lions are going to be content for the last shot. Yeah, watch the screens. Watch any type of lob uh, for, uh, for Austin, too. Down to seven. Back on top. Mitchell. There's Austin. Rises for a three. It's on the way, and it is good, and we are tied. And that's the way this first quarter will end. Larry Austin's three ties it at the end of one. It is Lincoln 12, Lanfear 12. Back with the second quarter in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball.